Hello and welcome to Perishal and Global Devil Summit. So my name is Damien Verby. I'm assistant engineer law uh, at Metis. I'm living in Paris. I'm also a Microsoft MVP since five years now. You can follow me on my blog System Deploy on Twitter or send me a mail if you have any question about Perishal, WPF, or uh, managing GitHub with Perishal. A bit about PowerShell and WPF. Uh, I created a group um, about the PowerShell and WPF in which I share my uh, my tools, my uh, tips, and also people share their own and ask question and community answer. Uh, now there are eight thousand people. Don't don't hesitate to join the group. I also created a, a book, published a book with my. Betty Jerome Bizitres. Uh, it's a book in French and uh, published at any, and it's also available on Amazon. The English version is coming soon, uh, and um, I think it will be available on Linpub. Um, don't, so don't hesitate to contact me if you want this uh, this book. So now let's start about uh, managing GitHub with Perishell. So how to do this? For this, we will use the GitHub API. So on this link, you can um, see what you can do with this API. So you can manage profile, repo. For instance, we'll just go on the link. So the GitHub Docs reference will give you um, all, all action, <coughs> excuse me, all action you can do with the API. So, as you can see, you can check GitHub action, GitHub activity, uh, GitHub kind of conduct, uh, GitHub issues, uh, GitHub package, repository, migration, um, and manage also user. For example, go to user, you have many information, how to get information about the authenticated user, uh, how to update the authenticated user. So for instance, let's go to the get authenticated user. So as you may notice, it will use the method get and uh, we'll use the resource user. We'll see just later how to, to, to use this API to get the user or something else. So for the authenticated user, we'll use the user without S. So now if you want information, uh, for instance, it would give them a, a response uh, with, for instance, login name, uh, avatar URL, uh, if user is admin or not, name of the user, user company, blog, location every information located in your, on your GitHub account. So now, for instance, if you want to list all user, instead of the authentic user, we'll use, we'll, uh, use the method get and use the resource user with an S. So you can have uh, many information. So uh, I recommend you to to visit this uh, website to understand how the API works. Uh, now, as a basic way, uh, this will use the uh, GitHub API v version 3. It will use the uh, invoke REST method uh, commandlet. And uh, as uh, I already said, uh, check the reference API to understand how to use it. So for instance, uh, we have C uh, we have seen that uh, to get information about all users, we will use uh, resource users readiness. So we'll use the uh, invoke REST method URI uh, with URI, HTTPS, API, GitHub, com, uh, and user method. If you want to get information about a specific user, uh, just tip in his, his name after the user resource. For instance, for me or my buddy. Uh, we'll see this just now. Up. So for instance, let's get to 
will get some information about all user. So we'll list um, all user from GitHub. Let's add it in a royal users of will count. By default, uh, it will display only the 13 first uh, user. Um, Now uh, we display only login. No, we have 13 users uh, because uh, it shows uh, paging. So and you have to to manage this in a, in the with the commandlet. <coughs> now we'll use instead of typing all user, we'll get information about one specific user. Uh, I will get information about my own user, my just use users with an S and type your name after that. I don't know my name. So ta -da, we have information uh, list from my GitHub account. We have my bio, my Twitter username, name, company, it's blank and uh, my blog. So now, from, from, for instance, if you want to get another username, we use my buddy Jerome Busy to rest. Here, here we are. Or another one, Windows, it's uh, Josh Rocking, the creator of the awesome Burn Toast. Here you are. Joker hacking from New Zealand. So now, uh, if you want to list a repo from a user, we'll give we yep, my just add repo then, and we have a list of the repository from the GitHub account. For instance, we'll do stat tag point name. It will use the 13 first uh, um, GitHub uh, repository on your GitHub account. Now, uh, if you are, if you, we have seen that uh, to get authenticated user, it will be use uh, user resource without NES. So let's test. And if we have an error because we need an authentication to get information about the authenticated user. It's totally normal. We'll see that. Oops, sorry. So, uh, to get information about authenticated user, we have to authenticate. And to authenticate, we will use a token. To, to create a token, um, just go to the, your GitHub account on the link uh, from there. And then you are able to create uh, a token. So give a name to your token and then select a scope um, in which your token will be able to, to, to run. In my case, I select everything. Then just click on gen generate token and it will give you uh, the token ID. J don't don't uh, forget to copy it because uh, you won't be able to see it again. Now you have the token, you can get information about the authenticated user. So, uh, how to authenticate to your GitHub account without uh, a module? First, you have to add the token, so this one we have created just before, in a var in a via, um, it's my example. Uh, I created a via my token in which I add my token. Then I add this token uh, in a header with the authentication barrier. Then just use uh, invoke rest method with the header parameter and your array uh, to my user uh, account. So just use a user resource. So, my token is located in a txt file. Up. 
just add my token as an object. And now uh, I will be able to authenticate to my GitHub account using the invoke REST method command late. We just you give list information about my user account. Hey, I have information about my authenticated user kit. Now, if you want, as before, to list your repository, just add the repo to the URI. List repo like this. There we are. Um, the partial module example, will, uh, you will find another way to, to connect. Uh, just uh, add your GitHub username account, add your to token. Uh, this will convert it to a base 64. Um, and same before. So now let's continue. So now uh, we have seen, so far we have seen the, 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 the basic way without the module. Now let's see the module. Uh, the module, Persia module is na it's called Persia for GitHub. It's, um, so it's been created by the Persia team and um, it's maintained now by Oral Volosky. Uh, so it's a so module allows that allow being you to automate uh, with the GitHub API v3, and uh, it's will use in back in the, the Infrax REST method. You can uh, visit the website of the Perishable for GitHub module. Uh, everything is well explained uh, in the in the GitHub page. So to install the module, you can install it from the Perishable gallery using install module Perishable for GitHub. My name, in my case, I add it in a variable. I check if the module in, is installed with using the command let get install module. If it install, no, if it doesn't install, I will install it. If not, I will import it. Um, basic way to, to understand how it works, uh, just um, list command let available in the partial module using get command module partial for GitHub. And in my case, I, I always use outgrid view to, to filter my command letter, for instance, and uh, 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 which command letter allows you to manage a repository, for instance. So how to authenticate to GitHub with the module? Uh, there is a, a command let set GitHub authentication um, add the parameter session only uh, to allow you to keep uh, uh, the, the, the token for, sorry, in memory for the duration of the partial session. So when, when you will um, use this command let, uh, it will open a, a prompt and uh, this will ask you your token. Uh, you can also automate uh, this using the below code. So you just add the token in a, in a create object and you will be able to connect uh, to authenticate your GitHub with the module. So how the GitHub uh, module is composed uh, versus the GitHub page. So we have different commandlets. Uh, for instance, we have the get, get GitHub issue allowing you to, to manage issue parts Get GitHub pull request that allowing you to manage your pull request part. Uh, to get information about your profile, you will use the get GitHub user uh, uh, commandlet with the uh, current parameter. To get information about your repository, you will use the get GitHub repository commandlet, etc. Uh, you have many commandlet available, um, and I think there are always working on it to to add um, everything you can manage on GitHub. Uh, yep. 
no if you go in a repository you have some also part other part so we have seen get github issue get github pro request uh, you can also uh, enable the github repository security fix if you want to get information about branch you can use use it, get get information about release, repository fork, um, a, a lot of things. Uh, some example about uh, the view uh, activity to view activity on GitHub with the command let. You can list for instance get the let, latest view uh, of a repository using the get GitHub view traffic. This will give you the, some information like this. So, uh, la, in this case, we have the, the last information about the uh, last uh, 15 days, I think. Um, we can also get information about the forks on a specified repository. We have uh, the name of the people. Uh, we have forks the, the repository can also get information about uh, from we from uh, the location um, where the, the, the view sorry the view from where people access the repository for instance um, the um, people access to the link using my website or Google uh, or the website using the get guitar referee traffic uh, now, if you don't find a commandlet uh, to manage a resource, you can use a, a custom query. Uh, this commandlet is invoke gh rest method. It will allow you to manage a custom query. Um, just use a rear fragment uh, parameter and add the method. And uh, there are different uh, methods get to list content, put to add content, patch to update content. So um, now this is where the GitHub uh, uh, reference API is, uh, is useful because you have the link of the resource you want to manage. Um, now we see some demo. Uh, the demo PS1 file will be available and uh, GitHub from the ProShare and DevOps Global Summit and also the presentation. So we will authenticate. Basically, we will use this, the GitHub uh, the set uh, GitHub authentic authentication sorry, command let it will uh, prompt for your token. In our case, we will use a more secure way. We are, uh, I added my token in a txt file. I will add it in a partial object as, con as a second string, like this. Uh, read content from my txt file and secure it. Then I will add it in a credential object. Now I will use this credential object to my set GitHub authentication commandlet. Now I'm now connected to my GitHub account. Uh, if you want to get information about you, user about user you can use a get github user commandlet let's see how to use it get github get help get github user so you can see that you can use the current uh, parameter or username tip a username for instance if you use if i use like this with current damian just current, it will give information about my uh, current users or the authenticated user. So uh, I don't have any information for now, like this. Just have the um, GitHub name, account name. I will update this information with the module. Now you can also get information about another user here, to repositories. If you want to update information from your profile. Let's see how to use this. How to use it with the get help. Now, 
we can see that we the then GitHub profile commandlet. We can set the name, the email, the blog, the company, the location, the bio of the user. Uh, we have also other information. So I will use my fed GitHub profile commandlet to update first my uh, name. So as we have seen, it's empty. Just add my name, a name, and now. My GitHub profile has been correctly updated. Now let's add some other information. I will add a location, a company, and a bill. As you can see, it's pretty quick to use, uh, pretty useful. So I updated my description, my company, and my location. Now uh, on your profile, you have some other information uh, like your blog uh, or Twitter username you can set it but there is no parameter for Twitter so uh, in this case we will use the uh, invoke gh rest method and uh, add uh, information as JSON for the Twitter username you can see that you can set it with the Twitter underscore username uh, you can get this information on the rest API of github reference so I will add this at JSON format in a profile variable in a hair string like this and use the invoke gh rest method and the method patch. Okay, so I updated again my bio, uh, new location, I'm now living in New York and I added my Twitter account. So now, why I'm here? So okay, my description has been uh, updated. My name is too. I'm now living in New York, and I have a blog and a Twitter account. Now, if you want to get information about repository, uh, the our creator will give an uh, as we had to see before, that we have seen before that the commandlet is get GitHub repository. Basically, just get select at all out review. Okay, so I have two repository. Yeah, two repository. It's a dev account, so it's pretty empty. So we can get information about the repository name, full name, is private or not, uh, information about owner, some useful information to manage your GitHub repository. So now, if you want to get information about the repository of a specific user, uh, just use the get GitHub user command line and pipe it to the get GitHub repository. Okay, I have two repository. I want to get content to list content of a repository. Uh, we will see. I have two repository. We will list content of the Intune troubleshooting repository. I have two four folder and a readme file. So I will list use the get GitHub content commandlet and we will see how to use it. Like this, get help, get it up content. You can see that you have to tip the owner name or repository name. So I will use this like this. Uh, test, I will replace test with into short load shooting. Okay, you can see that all information is located in the entries properties. So we have our content, readme file, and each folder. Now, uh, if you want to change uh, content, now we'll change, for instance, content of the readme. We will use the command let set GitHub contents with on the name, repository name, set, uh, tip the path of the file here, readme, add the commit message, and the content of the file. So here, in my test, Ah, test repository uh, readme is empty so I will add 
uh, commit message yo 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 and uh, new content test like this no if I refresh I have my commit message and uh, my content of readme has been updated no uh, if you want to manage issues with PowerShell you can too so you have different command let there, the git, get GitHub issue will list issue from your repos repository. My repository, there are no issues for now. I will add an issue. For this, uh, we we'll will use new GitHub issue command net uh, with owner name, repository name. You will have to tip the title of the issue as an, and then in the body parameter, add the content of the issue. So now, uh, in title, this is an issue submitted from push and in the body, hey, really, there is an issue there. No, we just had, okay. Uh, in, in printed information is the issue number to, if you want to manage the issue again, you will need this issue number. There, it's one. So, let's give a look to the GitHub page. We have our issue there. Uh, no, it's not this one. Sorry, it's an intune troubleshooting. We have our issue. If there is an issue submitted from Post. Seriously? Oh, hey buddy, there is an issue there. No. If you want to add a new comment, we'll use the new GitHub issue comment with on the name, the repository name, and we will use the issue number in the issue uh, parameter and add your content in the body parameter. Add, hey, you're right. Okay, now, yep, my GitHub issue has been updated. I have a new comment to confirm the issue. Now, if you want to lock the issue, we'll use the lock GitHub issue commandlet with the issue on the issue number. Just like this. Now, if I look up, my GitHub issue has been locked. Tell me in for a bit dev locked the conversation now if you want to unlock the issue just use the unlock git issue command let like this just wait a bit refresh how oh. tell me and for be dev unlock the conversation now if you want to upload a file on a repository you can too uh, in my case i will upload so this presentation uh, pptx okay we'll just add the pass in the folder uh, test so uh, just get the f name of the file so the name of the file here manage PowerShell with github ppt yes now i will uh, the trick is to encode the the file to a base64 to be able to upload it at, on a github on a github repository so i will just use use, use this code system convert to base64 string okay it's better so now we have an, our base64 file it's our file encoded in a base64 so I will just add uh, it in the JSON file with JSON content. Uh, con uh, this is the JSON content of my file. Um, you have to first convert the file to base64 and then add the content in a JSON like this. Okay, my JSON file. So now I will just use the invoke gh rest method. Um, Tip the API GitHub uh, repo folder um, owner name, and I will uh, upload it on the um, repository test. The trick, uh, another trick, is to add contents to the after the repository. Then the file name. We we'll use the method put and add our JSON uh, containing of our uh, encoded uh, file. Okay, 
our file has been uploaded. Let's give a look to the test folder. Should give a look now. We have our preptx file. So far, we have seen how to use the PowerShell for GitHub module. PowerShell module. Uh, we have seen some uh, demo. Now let's see some use case. The first one is upload device log to a private GitHub repo. Um, some times ago, I did some tests with Intune, uh, especially about how to troubleshoot a device. I did different ways, like upload the um, log to uh, another blob storage, then to SharePoint, and not no why not to a private GitHub repo. So the first step is to create a private repository on my GitHub. The repository will be called log repo with the private option. So let's see now on my GitHub. I have now the log repo with private category. So the script is called collect device content GitHub. There are uh, different information uh, in it. The GitHub information uh, in it, you have to, to put your token, your owner name, and the repository name. Then uh, another file called content to collect XML will gather uh, all folder and file that will be collecting. So uh, in this case, I uh, added some um, event log, some folder by default. But you can also add your own. You can also add some registry key. So if you want to collect a specific folder, just add it in the folder parse node. Then the script looks like this. It will first uh, parse the XML to get information about your GitHub account. Then it will uh, different function to export event log, then export uh, log and files folder, then export registry values. When it's done, so all the part to export things, then when it's done, it will it will install the PowerShell module if it's not installed, then it will uh, connect to your GitHub using a token um, that you have provided in the XML file. One, once uh, you are connected, uh, it will use the same uh, way than before to upload a zip file. Uh, all folder and file will be collected in a zip file. So now let's start. Let's see it in action. So I oh. the sorry, not like this. So to do this. I have uh, like this, okay, that's good. So, okay, the zip file has been uploaded. Zip file containing your device log has been uploaded in the log repo. Here we are, we have our zip file. So now you just have to download the zip and your good. Second use case is to migrate the TechNet contribution to GitHub. Actually, um, the script won't work now because um, pre, uh, TechNet Gallery has been, has been um, definitely retired. So uh, maybe you noticed it, but uh, Microsoft uh, sent different uh, sent different notification to to warn users and. Uh, that um, the TechNet gallery will be soon retried. So, meaning uh, if you have contribution, they will be removed. So, I created a script that will parse all your um, TechNet uh, profile, then uh, download um, content, meaning download file for each contribution with file with the description of the post, then uh, migrate them to your GitHub account. Uh, you can find the post there. So the script works like this. Uh, parse the technique gallery contribution and then this will uh, upload them on your GitHub profile. So you just have to provide your name, your username from the technet gallery, 
and also your token, uh, GitHub token. That way, uh, your contribution will be uh, uploaded on your GitHub account as a repository with uh, description, readme, and all files. So now, the last use case I imagine, uh, it's uh, a way to migrate your GitHub repo from uh, um, a source GitHub to another GitHub. For instance, I have my um, my production GitHub containing all this folder. Now, I want to migrate them, my repository only, on my Dave account. So, the script is this one. It will be also available on the GitHub. So, you have to provide the source token pass, meaning in my case I added uh, the token in a txt file, so it's you have to provide the source token pass of the file, then the death token pass of the file. So in my case, the death token is my dev, dev account, and the source token is my product uh, production GitHub. Then a notepad folder uh, located on your computer, because um, the script will parse all your source GitHub, then download all uh, contribute all the files from your repository as uh, in from zip and expand uh, content of the zip it will uh, extract all content from your repository then the script will pass all the folder and upload the content to your new account so now let's use it so how to use it it's pretty simple in my case I provide the path of the different different token, the dev token, the production token. Then I use my script migrate GitHub with two parameters, source token and dev token. And also, oops, sorry, I forget the output folder. There. Shows C migrate GitHub. Okay, so now so here is the output folder. So the script starts to download my source GitHub, and you can find that um, two folder has been have been created for now. So each folder contain the repository content. So now uh, this will do this for all my repository. So it will take a while. Um, now let's give a look to the script during the process. So as we have seen before we have three parameters then the first part is to connect to the production uh, github so the first github then we'll get the current username we'll get all repository and for each repository we'll get names description default branch uh, status uh, and add all this information in an object for later now we will also uh, use an invoke with method to download the zip, fi zip file of each repository and expand archive, meaning expand content of the of the zip file. So now all the information from each repository has been added in a rep all repo object. So the next step will be to connect to the second GitHub the uh, dev account and we will parse our all repo object with all information about uh, repository from the first github and we will for each information it will um, gather information like 
repository name, uh, repository um, path in the output folder, and repository status and description. Then, for each will folder, it will create a new repository with the appropriate description and status. Meaning, if you have a private folder, a repository in your first GitHub, it will create another a new repository on the second GitHub with the private status. So now, uh, all our repository have been correctly uh, downloaded. Now, they are currently being uploaded to uh, the new GitHub uh, account. We'll check on the GitHub. And we have now a free, full, free repository, H1. So now in the BIOS checker repository, we have correctly all our source, uh, the readme, and uh, this all. Now let's check another one. Yeah, everything is good. So now uh, we'll wait for all repository to be uploaded on the new GitHub account. As mentioned, this can take a while because I have a lot of repository to upload. So it will upload each file from uh, each repository. It will convert each file in Bay64, then upload it to uh, the appropriate repository. So, all my repository have been correctly uh, uploaded to my dev uh, GitHub account. Now, let's check. Okay. Number is okay. And then... Oops. Same number. Oh, it seems to be good. Now, let's check some repository to check if we have some content. Yeah, it's good. So, as you can see, uh, this script uh, may be really useful uh, for instance to backup or just to migrate to another one. So, I finished my session. Uh, I hope you learn some new thing and you enjoy the demo. Um, and as I already mentioned, everything will be available on the DevOps, ProShell and DevOps uh, Global Summit Kit. Bye, have a nice day.